I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about adding positive and negative numbers, and we want to find each sum. So if I was given this expression, 2 plus a negative 1 fourth, and I want to add them together. Well, if I have 2 plus a negative 1 fourth, I need to have the same base when I add fractions together, okay? Well, well 2 doesn't have a base, does it? But it actually does. Every whole number, or every number, has a base, and that base is 1, because 2 over 1 is the same thing as 2. So normally, we, when we write it, we don't write the over 1, we just leave it as 2. But now I have a base of 2 over 1. Well, now I need to find the common denominator. Well, 1 and 4 both go into 4. 4 one time, so we multiply by 1 over 1, which is pretty silly. You don't really need to. It doesn't change anything. But the 2 over 1, I can multiply that by 4 over 4. And what that allows me to do is when I to find a common denominator, 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times 1 is 4. Plus, right side, well, negative 1 4 times 1 over 1, one you know, negative 1 times 1 is negative 1, and 4 times 1 is 4. Well, look, I have the same base here, 4 and 4, but 8 fourths is the same thing as 2, right? 8 divided by 4 is 2. But now I've adapted that a whole number to make it a fraction of 2 over 1 to then make it a, uh, a larger fraction in a sense, right? or a different fraction, but it's the same value, right? It says adapted. So we have 8 fourths plus a negative 1 fourth. Well, the base is just the same. And now we have 8 plus, uh, 8 plus a negative 1, which is 8 minus 1, which is 7. And so my final answer is just 7 fourths here. So again, let's recap. We started with 2, right? 2 plus a negative 1 fourth, okay? Well, 2, I can make a fraction as 2 over 1, and now I wanted to find a common denominator. Well, sometimes that common denominator is one of, one of the fractions base already. 1 and 4 both go into 4. 1 4 times and 4 1 time. So right here we have 4 over 4. We multiply that by 2 over 1 and got 8 fourths. Negative 1 fourth times 1 over 1, and you can just skip that step in the future, um, is negative 1 fourth. And we add that together, right? The base is the same as 4. 8 plus a negative 1 is 7, and so our final answer is 7 fourths.